Hey guys, so I've been posting on my community tab how well I've been doing on the stock market. I've made a lot of money on the stock market recently. Like, which is surprising because to be quite honest, I was going to hold for about 10 years and then hopefully see some type of return on year two. I basically lucked into it. So I've possibly made maybe $20,000 in the last few weeks from the stock market. And yeah, I, I have gold, I have silver, I have BP, I have ExxonMobil, which I've done really well. And I have S&P 500, which I bought some of it at 140. Sorry, 250. So if you know anything about S&P 500, it's at 308. I should have bought more. I didn't buy enough, but uh, nonetheless, so I'm looking at it right now. S&P 500 is up 0.83%. The ExxonMobil is up 2.23%. And this is today. This is just one day, by the way. And BP is up a 4.66%, which is a lot of money. I also made, again, you're going to hate this, but this is the truth. And I think I, you know, I would rather tell you the truth than not. Um, I made a lot of money on Double Masters. I bought it really early on. And the price has already shifted. So I can prove it to you on Amazon. So I'm just going to use Amazon because it's the same platform. When it first appeared and people were so offended by the $2.99 sticker price, I actually called Walmart. And I have video proof. I have video. You can go watch the two videos. I tell you that I'm going to buy. I thought I was going to buy 10,000 packs. But, <laughs> you know, I was like, no, I'll buy a thousand. I should have bought more. But that's like true for any stock market, right? You're always like, damn, I wish I could have bought more. Uh, for instance, um, oh, I guess uh, silver is still down. So that was actually a bad investment. So silver, bad investment. Okay, um, BP, I bought 600 shares recently at $29.90 a share. Right now it's $24.950 and I made about 9%. But most of that was today, by the way. And Exxon, I bought 500 shares of it and at four the free 47 a share now it's 47 dollars um so that's one account and then on another account i have 49 shares of exxon 60 shares of s p 500 and i'm not going to bore you to death regardless between s p 500 exxon and bp yeah that was a lot of money for just sitting on my ass okay now how much of this did i actually buy i thought I was going to buy 10,000 of it because I was really hyped, but uh, they put a limit on me. But the limit was 2,000, so I could have bought 2,000. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about blister packs. The best time to buy a new product is either at the very beginning before people know what the product price should be. And Rudy, I watched that video from Alpha Investments and I agreed with everything he said. It was underpriced. How could this possibly be 300? You know, how could it be? And for me, for my distributor, for instance, like, you know, he was giving, you know, the price does change. The products do change prices depending on the demand supply because Walmart wants to sell it at Walmart. But they want to order in such quantities that it's very complicated. Regardless, I have a second distributor now, uh, Walgreens, the distributor for Walgreens and I will probably buy some more from him, but it will be at much higher price. Walgreens is always higher than Walmart in terms of distribution price. But I locked down a price, and I'm very happy with that price. It's about $11 a pack, a blister pack, without... Uh, $11 a blister pack without the... Because they're blister packs, they don't come with the two box toppers. Which is fine. I mean, it's a little easier to sell. It's hard. It's going to be hard to sell a $300 box. It'll be hard to sell a $450 box uh, at my where I live. I live in a very poor area. Uh, we are the most crime-ridden place in America, according to every single website online, and according to me, because I live here. So it's not exactly like um, it's a good idea to have $400, $500 boxes and you know be maybe looted or something like that because looting has happened where i live i would rather just have these these are really easy to flip um these are easy to sell and you know 10 it's a big difference so these 
if the retail is $16, I think the retail is like 15 something. So Amazon always charges a little bit extra because it's Amazon Prime. I can sell it for $14, which is good because people will always look at the Amazon price. They, they will always do price comparison shopping, right? That's just how customers are now. They'll go to my retail store. They'll say, oh, cool. I'm, I, $14 is a little bit of savings. Okay. And I will buy for 11, sell it for 14, make $3, which I'm more than happy. At. So the margin is much less on this type of product because it's higher end. It's almost like buy listing, right? So if you buy list in underground C, an underground C retail might be $400, let's say. But if you go to the right person, the buy list might be $250, $275, free, even $300. So it's very close. So the difference between buy list and retail on higher end cards are closer together because they're easier to move. The difference between standard cards, for instance, like the priest, the black priest that cost one in the priest of the forgotten or something like that, one in a black, Maybe retail is like $2, but people would buy this at $0.25 cents because even though the margins seem really large, it's just hard to move. And I would much rather make $100 selling an underground C than selling 400 priests of whatever. That seems like it would be very difficult. Selling one underground C does not seem difficult. In fact, selling four of them does not seem difficult. So... The question is, is it easier to sell one pack of this or five packs of a standard core booster pack? Absolutely five packs. Sell one pack of this over five packs of core standard anytime for the same profit. Um, I am getting the free booster packs from Walgreens. Uh, I know Walgreens carries this type of product. Um, so I'm getting that. If you take the risk early on, when everyone is selling and you're the only one buying, yeah, it's a huge risk, okay? No one knows where the bottom is. I did not know that two ninety nine or whatever I was buying it for $11, $10, whatever it is, was the bottom. But it turned out it is the bottom. And I do have boxes coming in from Amazon for two ninety nine because I wanted the box toppers. So I did the math. So the one thing, and I actually explained my video what the math was, you know, 30 to, I thought it would be 40% margin. So I thought the math would be even better in my hand, but it wasn't a 30%, which is the same as collector's booster packs. You got to take a risk. If you want to make money, you got to gamble and take a risk. And it really truly is a gamble most time. I don't know what I'm doing with my stock market. Like it turned out that I bought, if I knew I would have bought even more, I have about, 200k in cash that I didn't put into it because I was like, oh, I'll just get cash from my business. Who cares? You don't know. You don't know. There's no way I knew BP would would go up. Uh, no way I knew Am <laughs> or uh, what's it not BP? Uh, Exxon Mobil will go up. SPY, it's a little bit. It's a mutual fund type of deal. It's like a lot of stocks, so it's kind of like it's 500 stocks, so it's more likely that it won't go down that much. So double masters, I watched the Rudy video. I thought about it. I looked at the numbers that I had, which I presented to you, by the way, in my two last videos about this uh, issue when I was deciding to buy them. And I said, huh, there is a price gap. That's why I said, I, I immediately understood. And a lot of you said, oh, you don't know enough information. You don't, but that's why you guys aren't making a ton of money from the stocks, right? Duh, no one has exact information, okay? If you knew, if everyone had exact information, then there would be no difference in the market. There, no one would make any money. It would be exactly market price all the time. But because I saw a doubling season, I saw Kalia of the Vast, which I really thought was beautiful. And she's obviously in a box. I saw the 11-11 um, the, uh, the, uh, with uh, Poison. And I did some math in my head and I said, I saw, oh, Mana Crypt, duh. I saw Mana Crypt, I saw different artworks in them and I just did the math in my head and said, yeah, this is right. This is right. Uh, this is not $300 a box. This is going to go up. And the worst case is like Amazon, the way that pre-orders work on Amazon is as long as like they don't ship it to you, you're good. You can cancel. So like even if it went down, I could be like, okay, whatever. I can cancel. I have an Amazon business account. And, you know, I have a really high level Amazon account. We did, I think, $1.2 million over the last two years on Amazon. 
So I have my Amazon wrap. And so I wasn't too worried about buying for $299.99. Like it, I, I knew that was a good price. So it's the same with BP and Exxon Mobil. Do I know it's a good price? Do I have, do I know that it will go up in price? No, I have no idea, but I think it does. I think it will. So that's the difference between inside trading and you know just making a guess on what you are looking at in data. And that's the difference between you know making easy money, which is your money makes money, right? And you know working a job that maybe pays you fifteen dollars an hour. I made more money, so I have a pretty good job. I own a business, and I made more money from the stock market than from my job. And again, I didn't even put that much money into the stock market. These stocks gone have gone up like twenty percent over the last four weeks, which is insane. Had I known that, I would have dumped all my money in, but I did not know that. So I only dumped a little bit in comparison to what I could have dumped. So yeah, so even if you did make money, there was always that option to make even more money. So instead of buying 1,000 of these, I could have bought 2,000 of these and I could have bought you know more boxes from Amazon than I did. I had my Amazon rep confirm some things for me that this would be, my package would be delivered and they said, yeah, absolutely, and make sure of it. Anyway, hi guys. Oh, anyway, I, I do. So let me uh, explain Amazon, how Amazon reps. You pay them. And they're essentially your personal assistant. So I know things will be done. Hi guys.